All right, you guys, let's jump right into this. Um, I'm very excited about this recipe. So I'm starting with one cup of really cold butter, two cups of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of turmeric, a tablespoon of cornstarch, two teaspoons of baking powder, and um, two teaspoons of salt. But what I decided to do, I know, don't, don't anybody come for me. I decided to use my previous recipe that I used in my apple pie video. Now hear me out. You guys know how much I love that crust and I was telling you all about how um, how buttery and just crispy and um, just flaky that butter buttery crust was. So what I decided to do was use that same exact one for this recipe. Um, the only exception being that I added baking powder and uh, turmeric. Um, I decided to stick with all butter and I think it's flaky and, and it's beautiful when working with dough. So that's what I'm doing. I'm combining um, one cup of cold butter. It has to be cold, you guys. I can't stress this enough. Your butter needs to be cold. Everything needs to stay cold because when it bakes off in the oven, it does this beautiful, magical thing where the butter seeps into the flour and it just creates that flaky crust you're looking for. I want to uh, make a note of this is you don't want to cut in the butter with your hands. What the, your hands will do is obviously your hands will start to heat up the butter and you want to keep the butter as cold as possible. So once that is all incorporated, I get super ice cold water and I think I use about a cup, but um, you start with a cup, add some ice cubes to it, make sure it's nice and cold and you add it just until it comes together. I added a tiny bit too much, but to counteract that when I roll it out, I just add more flour to my surface. And as soon as that comes together, I'm not gonna work it very much. I'm just gonna work it into a ball so that I can wrap it and put it in the freezer. and I left it in the freezer for 30 minutes. And while that is in the freezer, I'm gonna start my mixture. And I'm gonna be starting with the green seasoning that I made yesterday, you guys. Like I said, I'm <laughs> I'm literally putting this in everything. I'm actually gonna be putting it in uh, my burritos today. I'm actually gonna be using it in my burritos soon. Um, I love this stuff, it's, it's magical. So I use that as a base to start. Um, my seasonings for my patties or for my meat and I use quite a bit I wasn't scared I wasn't scared to really season this up and it actually turned out it just it turned out perfect so I add that 
and then um, I'm gonna cook that for a bit and then add some habanero that you guys saw me blend up in yesterday's video and then I'm also gonna be adding some tomato paste because I had tomato paste you guys and I needed to use it up that that's really that's really where the whole tomato paste thing came from and tomato paste is a beautiful flavor it adds it it adds a level of depth so um, yeah I need somebody to send me some scotch bonnets y'all where can I get scotch bonnets somebody please tell me I am just short of about to start growing them And then I'm gonna add my meat and it's pretty straightforward and just kind of break that down. I try to break it down as much as I could, obviously you guys, because you know, I already told you guys yesterday in the mukbang part, a couple of things that I would change in this is one, to get my meat. Somebody recommended that I put it in the food processor. Um, that That is a good idea, I should have did that. Um, and if you have any other ways to get your meat like super thin, let me know down in the comments below. But somebody did recommend um, just putting it in the food processor. And as soon as that's all breaking down, I'm adding my my all-purpose Jamaican seasoning that I made. I did leave a link in the last description on everything that I put. I try to get very close to the measurements that I um, used for the seasoning, but I'm gonna be quite honest with you guys. When I did the seasoning, I just kind of like, uh, you know when you throw seasonings in without measuring? That's basically what I did. I, I got a little bowl and I just kind of put, um, I put, more or less of each one that I wanted so I definitely recommend just kind of doing it based off your personal preference if you're gonna add if you like more of one thing add more of that if you like more of the other do that Let's try to at least list everything that I had in it I know there are a couple of things in there like curry and garam masala but you guys curry garam masala allspice they all like just do something for each other they're like uh, I don't know they work so well together and it was it i love i love the seasoning um let me know if any of you guys try it let me know what you think after i let that simmer i add two tablespoons of flour because i want to get that kind of gooeyness that kind of uh, silky silky flavor in your mouth um, so I did two tablespoons of flour and I let the flour cook. It's important to let your flour cook, you guys. You don't want that floury taste. So make sure you cook off your flour three to four minutes. I add in um, beef stock. I don't really know if you're supposed to do this. I don't know if that's a traditional way, but I had beef stock and I've, I figured why not take that chance to add even more flavor. So I added in beef stock. And then I, I cooked it until it was like, it wasn't very, like it was silky smooth, but it wasn't like watery, if that makes sense. All right, and then I'm going to set that to the side and then I'm going to start 
the process of the dough. So basically I'm going to, this is pretty straightforward. So what I did is I take it out of the freezer and then I roll it and then I fold it on top of each other, roll it again, put it back in the freezer. And then I take it out of the freezer, I roll it out, fold it on top of each other three times and then roll it again and put it back in the freezer. And I did this a total of five to seven times, you guys, because I wanted to create as much as layers, as much as flakiness as I could. And at the end, you see that there's still butter. There's still like big chunks of butter. Don't even like, that is perfect. Cause like I said, once it melts into the dough in the oven, it just creates that really, really flaky, um, get all over your hands type of dough. And you guys know, like, I, I tried not to, but I did, okay? I wanted, I wanted like, nice outer edges, uh, so I did use my rolling pin, or I did use my pizza cutter to cut to make even edges. You don't have to do that. I'm just, I'm a weirdo like that. You guys know me, though. Um, 
But once I got it all rolled out, I try to divide it evenly. Um, the, the thing with these were, I learned a big lesson, like let it be messy. Don't try to perfect them. They're going to be like mine were all kind of wonky in different shape, shapes and sizes. And I think it adds character. And I think they turned out beautiful. A couple things I would change is I would roll it out thinner. I thought I rolled it as, as thin as I could and then I realized like I needed to roll it out thinner, even thinner than what I did, but they turned out perfect. Like I said, so here you kind of try to see me like figure out how to get I was I, I don't know what I was doing I was just like trying to figure out how many I could do with how much I had on here and so um yeah I did it was it was a little bit messy but I figured it out and my mind completely blocks off the fact that I need to make an egg wash so that I can you know brush my my pastry with it And so basically I just finished the steps with these last three. I added cheese, I added fresh mozzarella. You, I think you can, I, I somebody said they add cheddar, that that's what they do, I don't know. Um, I just added cheese that I had. It's, it, you know, add whatever you have. If you don't have a certain thing, or if you already have a certain type of cheese, I don't think uh, you can go wrong with adding any type of cheese you already have. It was fun though. It was fun trying to um, to figure these little things out. I love them. I think that's, I think we're here coming to the end. Like I said, I think I struggled with them a little bit at the end. I wanted them to be perfect, but did not quite get them perfect. And um, that's okay. Like I'm not, I'm not too crazy about it. <laughs> I was, <laughs> I definitely had a few that were like all like kind of out of place, but um, yeah. They came out perfect i i love them i just made a quick egg wash just i did egg yolk and water um, that's the egg wash i use for to get a, a shiny top if you don't want a shiny top just use a whole egg and some water um, but for a shiny top just use egg yolk and a little bit of water and then i brushed the top and i baked them i want to say at 400 i want to say 400 um until I, I started to see them become golden brown. Uh, but you can see like the crust, the flake, it's it's just so beautiful. And you can see the layers in the back one. Oh, delicious. Um, but thank you guys for watching. And um, I really appreciate all the feedback on the video from yesterday. You guys are freaking awesome. Um, I'm glad that you guys, I'm glad that you guys uh, really like that. I was nervous to kind of show it to see what kind of reaction I'd get. But you guys are just so positive and um I love you guys for that. Uh, anyway, if you guys are still here, leave me some, do we got cheese? Leave me some cheese emojis down in the comments below and uh, I'll see you guys down there.